I passed out some samples of the texturizing blade from Jitai. One of the important elements where this ties into who I am and what I do is an attempt on the part of this company to provide not only world-class cutlery blades and cutting tools and equipment, but also every one of the products contains an element of safety designed to protect you and designed to protect your customers. Things like the hair cutting razors that dispense the blades out of the tray that prevents you from having to physically handle them. Things like the disposal bin that allows you to discard used or spent blades into a safety container where people can't get their hands on them. Our industry too often thinks that spent razor blades go in a Pepsi can. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. Every one of us today, if you're not using the disposal bin that comes with the razors, should have one of these on their station. That's a shark's bin with a big nasty biohazard label on it. Why do you have this on your station top? State board likes to see it? Yeah. Why do you have this on your station top? To prevent infection, yeah, but that's not why we have it on our station top. Why do you have this on your station top? It shows our customers that we're, we care. It's marketing. <coughs> yeah, it's marketing. This has got a big scary biohazard label on it. This says, I am protecting you from all these other filthy people and vice versa. Okay, we don't know who's got what creepy crawly thing. What do you do with a full sharps bib? Does anybody know when it's filled? What do you do when it's done? When it's filled all the way up to the line where it says fill line, stop. What do you do? Metal recycling, not the right place to take a sharp spin. You pull, pull the tab down and close it and lock it. It's designed to be a one-way device. Once something goes in, it doesn't come out. You take a filled sharps dispenser to any pharmacy counter in America. You walk up to the pharmacist and go like this. You have to say a word. They will take it from you. Legally, they are required to take it. They put it in their hazardous waste disposal bag, and ultimately it will be burned. It shouldn't go to regular metal recycling. But yeah, and then you buy another one. They're five or six bucks. You put it out on the counter. Where do you buy them? Um, you buy them online at clipperguy.com. <laughs> you can also get them at every drugstore in America. But I have two boys, one in grad school, one in college. You buy them online at clipperguy.com. <laughs>